I had my, I won't say doubts, but I had my questions. Anytime I shoot an event, I have a, a bit of nervous energy. If I have new gear, I have especially a high amount of nervous energy. But this time, I gotta tell you what happened. Right, Daisy? Yeah. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today I have my uh, Fuji X-H2S in the uh, think tank bag that I've been enjoying lately. And um, I have used it a few times uh, since I've been, uh, had it. Most recently I had a gig with the um, 16 to 55 lens, which is flagship lens. I just learned this little red chip right there on the lens. Uh, that actually means it's kind of like an L series. So learning about Fuji. All right, I did not know that. So I've invested in a good lens. I'm gonna share some amazing photos I took with this camera for a professional gig. I was down in San Diego and uh, we were part of a conference. Uh, I was brought in by a filmmaker who was getting B-roll of the conference uh, to, for a highlight reel. I was the event photographer. So it was like 6 a.m. to about 5 p.m. was the conference. And then there was a red carpet with Tim Tebow and then a yacht party that was a fundraising event for his nonprofit. And so we ended at 11 p.m. So the day was long. The camera was flipping amazing. Some of my favorite event photography shots in my career taken with this camera. My questions, my doubts were, I was wondering, would this camera hold up to a full frame? Would I be able to be satisfied if I zoomed in, if I pixel pinched, if I pixel peeped, if I looked way in at the eyeball? Is it in focus sharp enough with enough resolution that I would feel satisfied? And I know the clients probably don't look that tough, but I do, and it's just what I, I look for. So I was extremely, extremely happy. That's one reason, one reason why the X-H2S worked for me on this uh, gig. Uh, and I, I've got to say it's a high profile demanding job. Um, not the same as a wedding per se with those once in a lifetime moments, but definitely high profile clients and, um, and just a very special, special event. Now the second thing was the image quality. And so for, for this camera, I really, really was super impressed with the, um, these are almost cliches, filmic cinematic look. Um, and I, I just don't even know what to say. I, I believe it's partially how Fuji renders the light. And that's the first thing I noticed when I uh, rented an X-T4 about two years ago is Fuji renders light differently. It's softer, it's um, more uh, gradual or subtle, and it's more, to me, realistic, and it has a, uh, a very strong uh, organic vibe. Uh, I think when I look back at my Canon uh, photos, I think they're a little contrasty, and um, I think maybe that's the biggest different differentiation. Um, so I was shooting on Provia, film simulation. Uh, I thought the image quality was out of this world. I also rented the 150, the 50 to 150 millimeter lens, the f2.8, and that lens was clutch as well. You'll see some shots with that lens too because it really allowed me from the edges of the room to get in close and tight on these uh, people as they interacted or they listened to the speaker. So um, hands down, just event photography review of this, uh, I give it a hands down, um, thumbs up, H hands down and thumbs up. Uh, I give this a two thumbs up rave review for its performance. Now, uh, I, f I felt like weight wise, it was pretty light uh, all day um, shooting long hours with um, some of the beefier lenses that I've ever used with Fuji. Um, I didn't have any, this is typical after, you know, three, four hours shooting with my Canon with those Canon lenses. My hand will feel it the next day even, and this I didn't have any, any type of hand uh, tiredness or stiffness or soreness the next day. Um, so I do know, I think I might benefit from, uh, my pinky finger hangs off a little bit, I might benefit from extending that with like a plate or L bracket or something like that. I shot on the CF Express card, which was extremely fast to offload. It's one of the reasons I like the R5, one of the reasons that I like the, um, the X-H2S. 
Um, again, shot in Provia, used the 16 to 55 lens and the uh, 50 to 150 lens. And uh, you know, this top part screen, people say, oh, I don't really use it. Uh, well, I will tell you, I do. I do use it. And uh, I love to look down when it's off and see the battery life very easily. Uh, and that's one thing. And I also set it to, um, I'll flip it on. When it comes on, you'll see, oh, it's in movie mode. Sorry, C7 is movie mode. I'm gonna put it on C1. And uh, that top number that I have it set to is, uh, see if you can see that, it says like 1,000, 1,068. That's how many shots left on my memory card. And so for a long day like that, I wanted to keep tabs on that. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. I give this camera a rave review. This is Daisy. Daisy, come here, come here, come here, sweetie, come here. This is Daisy, she's out with me. We're out in the Jeep, which has no roof on it today. Uh, I just bought a Jeep a couple weeks ago and I've been really enjoying it. Okay, if this video has been helpful, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, I'm gonna do more videos on the X-H2S and this week the X-H2 arrived, so I will do videos on that. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. Leave me a comment, let me know what you're shooting and let me know what questions you might have about the X-H2S. Thanks, bye.